Well, thanks for staying with us. It's 7.49. In the last few weeks, the Apapa Oshodi Expressway has received attention uh, from both the federal and the Lagos state governments because of the perennial gridlock on that axis, the gateway to the nation's major seaports. Now, last month, a joint task force began a cleanup intervention with the aim of reading the axis of traffic. Trailers and trucks were removed and relocated and the service lane was cleared to ease the flow of traffic. So how is the situation at the moment? Well, that's yes. a question we want to pose to our guests in the studio at the moment. That's who are they? right. Yes, uh, they are. Of course, uh, first, uh, there's the President Association of Maritime Truck Owners, Chief Remy Ugumbemi. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Mm. Happy day. Uh, yes, indeed. And Raf Agbogu, National PRO, National Council of Managing Directors of Customs Licensed Agents. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Good morning. All right, let me begin with you, uh, Chief Ogunbemi. Uh, uh, of course, this uh, you, you are really uh, affected by goings on in that Upper Power Shudi Expressway. But what exactly can you tell us about uh, uh, the extent of work that has gone on? Because we hear you, you had threatened uh, to go on strike, but you've uh, decided otherwise now because you seem to be impressed but what, what's uh, the reason for uh, the situation now? Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, you said that we're threatening to go on strike. Mm. We don't even go on strike. Rather, we have been withdrawing our services, not that okay. we go on strike. Mm. And of recent, we did not even withdraw our services. It is the services that withdraw everybody from the service as a result of the <coughs> ugly perennial traffic, as a result of the gridlock, and uh, so many other things mm -hmm. coupled together with the operation. So, um, now as National Council of Managing Directors of Customs and Licensed Agents, what do you see at the moment of the work that is going on in terms of trying to ensure that that access is read of the gridlock that we usually uh, know that place up for? Oh, well, um, yeah, work is going on. But then I see it as a cosmetic approach. Mm. Cosmetic approach for what is going on now. So why, do you why, see it, yeah. why do you see it as cosmetic approach? Cosmetic approach in the sense that government has not put a, a framework that will give this a lasting solution. Mm. So when you talk about the framework, what, what kind of framework do you do you We're do you expecting. want to uh, do you want the government to put in place to ensure? Because we know that this is not the first time that we have been talking about the gridlock at the Papa Axis. Mm -hmm. It's been long, long, long time ago. As one who operates within the region, what type of framework do you expect the government to put in place to ensure that we find lasting solution to the problem? Okay. That are what is called holding bay, like my colleague had just said. All these truck owners are rendering services, mm. and they should be given an enabling atmosphere to operate. If the truck holding bays are there, you will see all this gridlock. Well, when you talk about the truck holding bay, let me bring this to Mr. Mubemi, uh, uh so that you can you know weigh in too. Um, there's the uh, bat you know, uh, the Bola Ahmed Tinubu holding bay provided uh, by the Lagos state government around the Jora area. And uh, latest reports uh, reveal that um, Governor Ambode actually plans to expand that particular bay to uh, hold about 5,000 uh, trucks. I is that not good enough? Yeah, uh, let me start by saying that uh, I am here to testify that the respite is underway. Okay because uh, before now, before this or last week, most of the solutions that the people in authority has been proffering, they are no solution. Like my colleague said, mm -hmm. they are just a cosmetic. A cosmetic and no heal wound. Then I can testify that the federal government, there is a kind of collaboration with the legal state government mm -hmm. and the management of Nigerian Port Authority on how to bring lasting solution to the problem. They have come up with one of the major solutions, Which is? like you mentioned. Now, <clears throat> they have agreed to work together, the two, three trials of government, 
to work together to provide a place that will serve as a truck terminal mm. for trucks that are operating in the port. Mm. Then, previously, what I've been saying is that the owners of the, of the trucks own their truck. Mm. They should go and look for where to park their trucks. That is why they have not been getting it right. Now I want to believe that they have gotten it right and the respite is underway. Then on Sunday, this very la last Sunday, mm. His Excellency, Governor of Lagos State, came to Abat, that is Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu Truck Park Truck at Urili yes. White Sand, mm. to flag off the reconstruction and expansion of that terminal so that it will accommodate more trucks, minimum of a thousand trucks, especially trucks that are carrying container. So from, the, from that development, I believe that it's a step in the right direction that will lead to the permanent solutions to the traffic revlock within a papa. Thank you. All right, but, but before now, the government, this is not the first time that the government had talked about creating special parks for, or terminals for trucks. But the issue had always been that your people would always say, no, we don't mm -hmm. like this place. Yeah. We don't like this place. Would almost, that be almost to a point of blackmailing yes. the government. Well, I am in a position to let you know the truth of the whole issue. Okay. Then, uh, that statement, I will regard it as your own opinion, of which you are entitled to. I want you to know that all those... But those, those are the facts. I mean, it's not no, our opinion because I'm really we're not even here to put out any issue. opinion. I Every, wear the shoe. Several times in the past when pro government has provided, you know, such palliatives, you may say it is cosmetic mm. or it is even temporary and not, uh, you know, um, far-reaching enough. But then again, you have a situation where truck drivers or owners of trucks say, no, 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 we, yeah, don't, we lack, don't want Lack this. of cooperation yes, from, 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 from the truck owners. I am here owners. to give you the true position. Okay, what is the, the true situation. position now? Uh, please take it from yes. me. Mm -hmm. It is the person that wears the shoe know how and where the mm -hmm. shoe pinches. Am yes. I right? Yes, absolutely. So saying that government has provided a place and the truck has refused to go, I say, that it is your opinion of which you are entitled to What is to the eat. true position The now? true position, or let me ask you, mm. can you point to a place that has been provided and the truck has refused to go there? That is one question. Mm -hmm. And again, I want to let you know that most of those information or they have been hearing has been on paper. It, 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 what, as I, what they say, Aisha said, then done. So, his Excellency have just come up with a pragmatic way of addressing issues, not just talking for talking's sake. He was there on ground to flag off the rehabilitation and expansion. It has never, never happened like that before. Okay. If you have heard mm -hmm. of any place provided, I must tell you that it is on paper. No mm. place is provided. That is the truth. And if you say I'm wrong, please mention the place or tell me the place. Without even moving us from your premises, I will call my member to go there and park. How can somebody say he got a place where he can park conveniently and he will prefer to stay on the road where he will not eat well, where he will not sleep well, where he will not take his bath, where vandals are there to vandalize, where street touches are there to take over, collect his money, his phone? It's not mm -hmm. true that they provide a place. Okay, uh, that point um, well taken. But uh, I, I don't want to believe that before now, that government has not tried to do anything at all whatsoever, Try whether at the, at the state level or even at the federal government level. But that's not really uh, the point now. We have uh, less than a, a minute, of course, to bring you the news update. Uh, we will continue this discussion as soon as we return from uh, giving our viewers the news uh, update. We'll take a very short break, and when we come back, it will be time for the updates. Stay with us. We still have our guests uh, here in the studio uh, looking at the uh, cleanup, uh, the rehab being, uh, you know, going on at the Osho Papa uh, Axis. Of course, uh, the state of that area has affected businesses over, over the years. Uh, but thankfully, it looks like some 
uh, remediation efforts are being made by the state government. Ralph Ogbogu is here with us and Chief Remy uh, Ogbemi uh, right here uh, with us. Let me uh, come to you, uh, Mr. Ogbogu, uh, the National PR of uh, Council of Managing Directors. Uh, is there any uh, time frame, really, that government has given, whether it's a federal government or state government, to uh, the repair work that is going on uh, at that, in that axis, the Osho Diapapa axis? Though you say that it is cosmetic, obviously you're not that impressed. But has government said, look, this is how long it's going to take to get this fixed? Okay, um, look at it. We need to have an institution mm. upon which this thing is rested. And once there's some, uh, something like that, this thing can be checkmated. You see, what we are, the problem we are going through now is as a result of concession of the ports. These are okay. the technical areas government didn't take care of before concerning the ports. And this is what is happening. I will tell you, seven, we saw this about seven years ago. National Council are making a representation, writing that this thing will happen. Mm. Because now, think of it. In First Gate, that's what's called Roller Park. It's called Abuja. That's where these people park. Before now? Before now. Okay. Across the other side. Who provided that park? The MPA. Okay. Now, when they concerned the ports, the terminals took over. And these people have no holding bay. And that's why they roam the street. And this thing is a very big problem. Do you talk of environmental pollution? These people that park the trucks along the road, they bath. They defecate. Right there. All on the road. Makes a nonsense of everywhere. You can't even assess it. It's a very big problem. Now, what we are saying is this. MPA should have taken care of these things mm. earlier. You are talking about container, trucks carrying containers. Talk about tankers itself. There are mm. tank farms all over the area. Mm. Mm -hmm. the trailer, uh, container trailers are competing with tank car drivers. So the road, what, like I said, is cosmetic approach because this thing has not been checkmated very well. Uh, have you, Okay. Now, they, they initially, the Aswaji Park at Ijora is meant for tanker drivers. Mm. Okay. Container drivers, are they taken care of? If you go to Eric Moore, they are lined up everywhere. So there should be a legalistic framework to make this thing work. So if, if you say, if you still maintain your position that the approach at the moment is cosmetic, he has just said, well, it's, it's a fine approach to creating a lasting solution to the problem that we have on hand. So if you continue to say that it is cosmetic, mm. what would be your own solution then? Okay. My solution is this. For the, for the immediate, there are abundant terminals mm. within the Apapa Tinkan axis. But the problem is that I see conspiracy within the terminal operators and shipping companies to undermine what the government is doing. And I don't think MPA has looked into this. Because I remember the last time we met, we pointed this and pointed highlights. Another problem, again, you don't forget the issue of tramping. Which yeah. is? Which is tramping. You blame the transport owners too. Uh, what, what is the tramping? Tramping, tramping is, some, nobody has, you, at that moment, you have no business being, being on the road there. Okay. But you'll be there. You see some dismantled that engine, doing that engine along the road. This is what is called liners routine because they're shuttling looking for scavenging looking for patronage but there should be a law that guides these things mm -hmm. if you have no business being on the road get out of the road so I tell who, you who should mm -hmm. intervene uh, you know um, in that area of providing some kind of law is it i mean are, are you saying there's no system within the maritime or truck or truck owners or tanker owners and all of that a system that helps to uh, self-regulate Thank you. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Is I also want to uh, start from where he, he stopped. Yes. You see, there is no system that regulates the movement of these trucks. That is why you see all the trucks coming to port direction at the same time. And all these trucks cannot be attended to at the same at the time. time. Mm. That's why I'm also clear money. I have been opposed to of a system that will regulate. Regu how? Mm -hmm. Before trust can leave any park or anywhere it's coming from, he yeah. must have received an alert that today mm. it is your turn to come and load. Not just today, 
what time of the day? Is it morning hour? Is it afternoon? Is it evening? Is it even night? Mm. But as I speak, there's no regulation, which mm. means it is how closer to the port that will determine how and when to load. Mm. But however, I'm also impressed because they have started getting the message. Even okay. His Excellency mentioned it during the flagging off that arrangement is on to start using a call-up system, a system that will regulate the movement of these trucks mm. so that all the trucks will not just be coming at the same time. I have said it earlier that mm. journey of 100 miles started Starts with, with a step. step. Mm. With the flagging off of the expansion and rehabilitation of a park, I believe it's a beginning, it's a right step in the right direction. Yeah. By the time that is completed, they will now go for the second uh, uh, issue, which is uh, a call-up, a system that will every operators in the port mm -hmm. will be on the system. Okay. 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 Well, um, uh, Ralph Agbogo, please. Well, there must be. Do, do you people sometimes have stakeholders meeting with the? the government because this is not okay something uh, unfortunately well unfo we have to wrap oh, all right uh, all sorry right. about that yeah. there'll be yeah. more time uh, to come back and do an appraisal a uh, reappraisal or appraisal if you like of um, uh, the work going on there uh thank you so much gentlemen chief yeah. remy Ogumbemi is president association of maritime truck owners and Ralph Ogbogu is the national pro national council of managing directors of customs licensed agents thank you very much uh, gentlemen for joining thank us thank you thank you for coming this morning